Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the new and improved Power Virtual Agents. And I'll be focused on all the features that were announced at Microsoft Build this week. So stick around because this is not only exciting, but very important for both the chatbot users and makers. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now keep in mind that this is all under preview right now, which usually means that when it comes out, it will always be bigger and better. But keep that in the back of your mind that what I'm going to demo to you right now is under preview. So the first thing I want to talk about is the overall design of each topic and basically the section of each topic. So now when I come over here and this is in the preview, when I click on topics, this is what the topic section looks like, which is great. You know, nothing too fancy. This is what it looks like. But now when I go ahead and say select one of the topics that I created, which is right here, make a reservation, the first thing that caught my attention is all of this section over here. And to really make a point, if I go ahead and grab one of the older ones that I have, which is right here, see, this is my production power uh, chatbot. But if you noticed right over here, see this section right after the testing of the chatbot, see, this is what it looks like right now. This is what it's going to look like. And it's pretty neat because you've got the text, I mean, the testing, you've got the do, undo, all of that. But what really caught my attention is right over here, because check this out, I'm going to move this away for a second. Now in the topics, when I click on, well, first of all, I see my topic and I see this drop down option right next to it. And when I click on it, I see all my topics right over here. So I can switch around the topics pretty fast and pretty easy right over here as against me going ahead and, you know, switching out, coming back in. Basically, this is what we do right now. If I go and grab this one back over here, I don't see that functionality way to switch topics, which means I actually have to go outside, look for a topic and then get back in over here. This functionality, it just makes it so much more easier us for the bot makers to actually switch around topics because that's how we might be building our bots. We're actually building a bots, which is intentionally going to switch topics. And this makes it so much more easier to do that. So this is what I noticed right off the bat. Then when I came in the topics, a lot of this on the header section has improved, improved in a much better way. And I so welcome this change. So right now, as we stand, there's actually two categories of the bot developers. There's the citizen developers who use Power Virtual Agents, and then there's the pro developers who actually use the bot framework composer. Once this new releases come out, this new enhancements for Power Virtual Agents come out, it will bridge the gap between the two. And to prove that right over here, when we are in this topic, if you go to the top right and you see that ellipsis, if I click on that, there will be this new functionality called open code editor. And when I click on open code editor, you see the code in the back end. You've got the option to even save it and test it. But this is where those who are familiar with the coding standpoint to build those bot framework composers, they can come over here, they can literally review the code and they can even do copying and pasting and add the code over here to further enhance it. See, this is where there's gonna be some amazing synergy between the citizen developers and the pro developers. And then once it's done, you can save it, test it, and then go back over here to the top right, close the editor, and again, see it how Power Virtual Agent Citizen Developer BC it. This is pretty awesome. Now, one of the things that really caught my attention is all these rich responses that are coming to Power Virtual Agents. And to prove a point, I'm back over here in my original tenant. This is my Power Virtual Agents. And when I come over here and add a node, I'm, node, I'm gonna ask a question. This is what ask a question looks like right now. And we are familiar with this. I can put in some good amount of text. And then on the top right, if I click on the ellipses, these are the options that I have available. However, once these new features come out, this is what it's going to look like. So I come onto the top and I'm going to go ahead and ask another question. And I'm going to ask a question. This is what it looks like right now, asking a question. All right. And so when I come in over here on the top, you see there's this add option. But when I click on it, I see all of these other functionalities available, which we really don't have. Because right now, all we could do was put in that rich text functionality. I can put in a message and then I can ask a question, but that's it. However, now I can customize my question. I have the flexibility to add some message variation, images, videos, basic cards, adaptive cards. That's pretty awesome. And then even do quick replies. So if I can show you, this is the outline right over here. This is what all of these different options are. And you can actually go and see what they all look like. See, quite a few different options available. However, it's not just text. Right now, we can even go and add 
text over here and you can go and put in text and switch over to speech. So when you go and put speech, you can actually go and put in some variations over there. So now I can click over there. I can do message variations. Right now I can select okay, this speech. What are the different tags that I want? I want it as an audio, break, emphasis. All of these tags are automatically put in over there. So not only can you make your audio sound a certain way, but you can also make sure that it'll be a little loud, it'll be a little firm, it'll be a little almost strict kind of a thing. Those different variations in the audio can be placed over there. Besides the fact that it wasn't available before, speech just wasn't available before, now that it comes in, speech will become available, you'll be able to do all of these other neat little things over there. And this is the whole concept of rich responses, which is soon gonna be coming out in Power Virtual Agents. Now, one of the big wow factors which I noticed was the ability to use Power FX formulas directly inside Power Virtual Agents. And again, to prove a point, this is what our Power Virtual Agents right, is right now. So if I come over here and if I say select add a condition, this is how I'm able to add a condition right now. And I don't have any options to go and do anything advanced. I basically sit and pick my variable, for example, the variable that I generated in the question, I come over here and I add some conditions and that's it. However, in the new and improved Power Virtual Agents, if I were to come over here now and say add a condition, once I add the step, I click over here and I get the option now to go and either select a variable. I can also come on the top right and I can say change to formula. I come in and I select formula and this is where I can start putting in my formula. I can actually start typing in Boolean for example and the IntelliSense will go and grab all of these formulas. Formulas that we are familiar with, Power FX formulas, same thing that we've used in Power Apps, Power Automate, now they're coming in Power Virtual Agents as well. So as, as an example, when I come in over here and I click on my formula right there, X out of this one, I click on my formula right here, you can see that I've done the date diff. The date diff formula is something we've always done in the other features as well. I'm able to do that in Power Virtual Agents as well. And this was something pretty sweet because now Power FX is there in Power Virtual Agents. Now there were a whole bunch of other features that came in, but, but the one that really caught my attention at the end was the telephony service that came in. So we are back over here in the preview section and I'm under settings and I click on channels and in the channels, this is what you see is the telephony preview. So as I click on the telephony preview, you will now see the ability to add a phone number to continue your conversations over here. One of the neat things is that the back end of all of this is powered by the enterprise level Azure communication services. Also, when you start leveraging this, you can go and put both the capabilities of including caller ID and the keypad. But one of the neat things is that now you're switching over from a chatbot, which is basically a, a text type conversation to a voice, which means you can leverage the Azure Cognitive Services voice functionalities to really understand how this dialogue is going, the tone of the dialogue, which takes your chatbot features to the next level. So hopefully this gave you a good overview of some of the enhancements that are coming to the next level Power Virtual Agents and that can help your company plan accordingly. So as always, keep using Power Virtual Agents. Hey everyone, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because remember, I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much and pass the word. But if you haven't, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.